our goal today is for you to be able to create a table of contents ultimately because what we want you to be able to do is analyze how a particular sentence, a paragraph, or section fits into the overall structure of a text and contributes to the development of those ideas. So think about when you have to make cookies. Okay, when you're making cookies, um, you've got all kinds of ingredients. What would happen if you missed one of those ingredients? Well, the cookie would not taste the same. It wouldn't be the same thing if one of those um, key, ingredient, key ingredients was missing out. And it's the same when you're reading a, a nonfiction text or even a fiction text at that. Um, every sentence, every paragraph, chapter, each section, subheading, they all fit into that text to... to contribute to the whole development and idea that you are reading about. So what you're going to do is think about a person that you want to research and you're going to read, 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 read all you can about that person and then you're going to create a table of contents. So if you had to create a chapter book on a person, you need to think about what would my chapter headings be and then what would my subheadings be. There's a couple ways that you can do this. I have here an app, it's in the app portal, it's called iBrainstorm that you can use to help you organize your thoughts. So like this person was doing Elvis Presley and they have their three chapter headings. So when, and I should say when you get into iMovie you'll have to click this down arrow and it'll let you choose from a variety of graphic organizers and this is one of them that you, could, that you can choose. So they picked uh, the, the title that would go up here of your book is Elvis Presley, three chapters, early life, Sun Studio, and then Life After 31. And then she has some subheadings that can fit underneath those chapter titles. I took your social studies book and did the same thing. You'll, your title of your social studies book is Journey Across Time. Chapter 1 is the first civilizations, subheading. Chapter 2, subheadings. Chapter 3, subheadings. If you want in your Google Docs to make your table of contents look attractive like this and add a picture and, you know, make... Um, color, make it colorful. I am totally fine with that. But everything must go in that AU file. So this is just a way that you can organize, but your end goal is for it to look like this down here or like this particular section. But just know all you need are three chapter headings, two subheadings in each chapter. Make sure you're keeping track as you're reading of your sources in Google Docs because you will need that for the next step of this project which I'm going to go ahead and explain right now. Then after you create your table of contents, the next thing you're going to do is pretend as if you were to write the book. Okay, We're not going to write the entire book, but we're just going to um, find some sources that would contribute to my subheadings. And your, whatever source you found, you're going to copy and paste a paragraph that would fit underneath that subheading. I have this on Canvas. It is a um, a template that you can use, but I do want to see after you've created your table of contents to then go in and find, show me those sources, show me those sources where you found um, paragraphs that would fit underneath the subheadings of chapter one and two and three and so forth. So you're going to need two paragraphs in each chapter, one for each subheading, and also make sure that you're using a parenthetical citation. So this is the second goal, and again, all of this needs to go into your reading unit information for information document and Google Docs. All this needs to go in there. And um, make sure that you are, in fact, making your works cited page in MLA at the bottom of that. Okay, so just to recap, a couple things that you are doing. First objective is to make your table of contents. And I want it to look just like this, real simple in Google Docs. Use this if you want as a brainstorming tool. But this is the overall goal. Second thing you're going to do is find those paragraphs that fit the subheading from an online source from the internet. And then, if I mean, if you found something from a book too, that's that's totally fine too. But make sure that you sort cite those sources here. Okay, so um, you can look on Canvas for more details if you need. Other than that, happy reading.